Well, for more on the uh, market, let's bring in Bob Dahl. He's a senior portfolio manager and a chief equity strategist over at Nuveen. So, Bob, uh, market right now at record highs. What do you make of the performance we've seen in the first half of this year? Uh, certainly there was a sense we could get a rebound off those January lows, but this rally has gone, I think, a lot farther than most people expected. Yeah, add my list to the, name to that list, uh, farther than expected. We thought the high end would be 29.50, which is where we were January a year ago, last fall, uh, a few months ago, and now we've uh, you know broken to the upside on the strength of uh, the economy's okay and the Fed's got the answer to all our problems. Well, and on that recent pop, uh, you know, above 3,000 on the S&P, do you think that this is a sustainable new phase of the bull market? You know, we've had quite a few different pauses um, and then kind of resets higher, the most recent being between late 2014 and really the election in 2016. Do you think this is the beginning of a new phase for the market as we look at the second half of this year? Unfortunately, I think uh, a lot of the gains this year are already in the bank. I think it gets more choppy, more frustrating this year, which was the theme for our predictions for this year, choppy and frustrating. Look, the market has assumed the Fed's going to cut uh, one, two or three times, that the China deal's going to get done, and uh, earnings are going to be just fine. I, I'm not sure all of that goes together. If the Fed, let's say, lowers rates three times this year, to me that means the economy is not nearly as strong as we think, and there'll be earnings disappointments all over the place. So I, think, I don't think you have your cake and eat it, too, and some icing and some ice cream on top of it, which is, I think, what people are arguing. I'm not negative. I just have a hard time seeing a big move up from here. Uh, Bob, if the Fed does not uh, cut rates later this month, what's the downside risk to the markets? Uh, not, that would not be a pretty scene. Uh, as you all have commented, the Fed has gone out of its way very explicitly with lots of different people, lots of different speeches, basically saying we're going to take back what we did in December, parenthesis, we wish we hadn't done it in the first place. So my guess is that we'll get a cut. If we don't, wow, we're really all missing something. Hey, Bob, Brian Chung here. So we're in the midst of earnings season, especially with the financials. What are you kind of watching for there? Do you like the valuations that you're seeing or are kind of all equities just stuck in this melt up right now? I, I think that uh, on financials in particular, the numbers were pretty good. They weren't uniform. It was, uh, you could find something in everybody's uh, numbers that were not quite good enough. Uh, but acceptable at this discount of the financials to the overall market. We think financials will be okay in the second half. What's interesting to me, as you, you, you've pointed out, is this return to some of the, the cyclical names, some of the industrial names in the last few days. Maybe the economy is a little better than we think, the retail sales number. Wouldn't it be nice if we got an okay ISM or a PMI in the, in the next uh, few weeks? Um, uh, that's what we need for this economy to have a two-plus year, which is our best guess, back to prediction number one. Now, Bob, you're not you know, outright negative on the market, but certainly cautious right now with stocks at records. What are some of the scenarios that would make you turn a little bit more bullish this market? Yeah, if, if we did get a, a deal with China, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I think that's unlikely. I think if the, if the market backed off this, uh, the Fed's going to do it three times and the market stayed okay. Uh, needless to say, we're watching earnings and, more importantly, forward guidance, if that's better than we think. I hate to say it this way, but lower prices certainly would make us more bullish. We don't have to go through that. Bob, why do you think, uh, and I'm just guessing here, uh, your clients are chasing the markets at these levels. Valuations have started to climb. I would argue that they have increased pretty significantly, and earnings uh, estimates are coming down. Uh, I agree. I think that therein lies uh, my somewhat cautious note. I mean, Christmas Eve, you could buy the S&P at 13 and a half times earnings. Now we're pushing toward 18. Um, and as you point out, earnings estimates have come down. One of our predictions is, Earnings would come down this year and next year. They've come down this year to fairly reasonable levels, but analysts are still expecting plus 11 for next year. Our guess is half of that will be good news. 
You know, Bob, uh, you refreshed your predictions, uh, your 10 predictions from 2019 to kind of a scorecard at the halfway point. One jumped out to me because it's, you know, a little bit away from markets, and it's your view on the election right now. Um, as you noted, uh, your prediction would have double-digit number of candidates on the Democratic side. That obviously has come to pass. But you also thought that there might be a challenger to Donald Trump on the Republican side. So far, Bill Weld has thrown his hat in the ring. I don't know how many people are getting excited about him, but do you still think that's a risk um, as you look towards the election? And just more broadly, is the election something clients need to start thinking about right now? Uh, so we expect Bill Well will be the only well-known Republican that challenges Donald Trump um, and that Trump will easily win the, the uh, nomination. On the Democratic side, we never dreamt that uh, we'd have a double-digit number, more than 20 by February. Here we go. Uh, that the markets are actually talking about uh, the election this early is pretty amazing. We usually don't pay attention to the election until kind of Labor Day of the year of the election. But there's so many cross currents. I would argue among the reasons the market has done well, the big tax cut and the regulatory rollback. And if that gets threatened in the next election, I think the market's not going to fare very well. So this is, this is uh, to be watched very carefully. All right. Bob Dahl with Nuveen. Always good to talk to you. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.